Recently, I told you about some fountain pens that work well with shimmer ink. Now that we've covered that, I wanna share with you my top eight shimmering inks so that you can go forth and be shimmering and fabulous. I feel really good about most of these choices. And I say most because I haven't decided on the last one yet, but that's a problem for future Drew. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. The first ink on our list is a no brainer. Jacques Urban, Emerald of Shavor is as close as it gets to royalty when you're talking about shimmer ink. Where its older sibling, Rouge Hematite, established that fountain pen fans enjoy an ink with a little bit of shimmer, Emerald of Shavor came along and was like, oh, do you? And boom, this ink dropped and it has been our most popular shimmer ink for the greater part of a decade. A beautiful teal with a hint of red sheen and some lovely gold shimmer. And um, these Jacquerbon inks like the Rouge Hematite, uh, Emerald of Shavor, anything with the wax seal in the front, those tend to have noticeably less shimmer in them than the rest of the inks that are going to be on this list. So Emerald of Shavor is a great option if you are just dipping your toe into the uh, shimmer pool. Okay, raise your hand if you're like me, and when you really like something, you have to get other people to like it just as much as you. Yeah, it's annoying, but hear me out. You need to get excited about <laughs> Diamine Winter Spice. This is my personal favorite on the list. Um, I love it, and so should you. Uh, it's a beautiful chocolate brown at its base with blue shimmer all mixed in. But that's not all. On top of that, you get green sheen, people. This ink has all three of my favorite colors, people. All three in one ink. Um, so shimmer particles can settle in your pen, right? And that could lead to you perhaps having used all of your shimmery bits before you're totally done with your ink. But if you have a sheening ink, you still have one more feature to get excited about. So winter spice, right? Robert Oster makes a lovely ink called Violet Clouds that has become a recent favorite of mine. Okay, first of all though, Robert Oster's colors around this group are all fantastic. These soft purples, you really, really cannot go wrong with any of them. Violet Clouds though, really has a lot going for it. Okay, beautiful pastel purple, we've covered that. But then you've got a sharp halo of blue in there too, depending on what sort of paper you're using. The pizzazz of this ink comes from its silver blue shimmer though, and wow, it just ties everything together. There's also Violet Dreams, which is essentially the same thing, but with gold shimmer, and it's great, absolutely beautiful. But I think that the Violet Clouds shimmer matches the ink a bit better. But again, Robert Oster and Soft Purples, you're gonna be happy. Once upon a time, I used the internets to ask our pen friends about their favorite shimmer inks. So the next two colors might have come from you. I also happen to agree with them. Diamine Shimmering Seas, navy blue and gold shimmer. This one is consistently popular and well loved by the fountain pen community for good reason. The gold contrasting against that deep blue field just pops. And if you're looking for one of these that really puts the shimmer front and center, this might be your best bet. The other shimmer-tastic ink that was every bit as beloved by the community happened to be Diamine Night Sky, another MVP in terms of popularity. Night Sky also provides an excellent contrast to the shimmer by uh, showing it off in front of a black base here. I thought about saying that this one was more subtle than Shimmering Seas, but then I uh, decided that I'm not at all comfortable saying the word subtle in this particular video. So uh, never mind about that. Okay, let's add some ink from Ferris Wheel Press into the mix. Here we have Stroke of Midnight. Now, before we look at the ink, I want to say something about Ferris Wheel Press. While all the colors we're looking at in this video are radical and fabulous, Ferris Wheel Press has to win the prize for the outside of this bottle being just as magical as the ink inside. The ink itself, another blue, yes. But what makes Stroke of Midnight unique from other shimmery blues is that it contains both silver and gold shimmer. Yes, silver and gold. Yukon Cornelius would love it. All right, let's go back down under to the shake and shimmy inks of Robert Oster and Rose Gold Antiqua. 
Let me start by saying that it's pretty impossible to bottle a true rose gold in liquid form. But this ink, for me, is the definitive rose gold fountain pen ink. We've got over 700 colors of ink here in our store, so it's rare when you find one that doesn't have a decent analog within the selection. Rose Gold Antiqua is unique, fun to write with, and really fun to stare at for long periods of time and forget that you're supposed to be working. So, earlier when I said, that's a problem for future Drew, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, hi, I'm future Drew now. Okay, well, here's the situation. I knew I wanted to pick a gold on gold, like gold with gold shimmer, but I couldn't pick between Robert Oster Aussie Liquid Gold or Dimine Golden Sands. These two brands can make some righteous shimmer inks, which we've established, obviously, but which one of these is going to officially earn a spot on this list? We're just gonna have to try it and see. All right, we're gonna start with Dimine Golden Sands. Now, I know this one is good. I know I love it. I've written with this one pretty recently, so I'm pretty familiar with what's going to happen here. Oh my god. That's crazy. Woo! Boom, boom. Look at that. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> that's plenty. <laughs> We're going to see a lot of shimmer pooling in, obviously, these big insane splotches I made, but then right here uh, where the paper is kind of crinkling up a little bit, we're going to see the gold really settle. But honestly, it is everywhere. You can already see it showing up. It's just all over the entirety of my text here. And um, man, it is it is stunning. And you can also see a little bit of a you know dark halo around some of the edges there as well. I love this ink. To me, this was the first thing that popped in when I wanted a gold shimmery ink, but then I remembered Aussie Liquid Gold and I remember really liking that one too. So let's see if it can uh, actually go head to head with Golden Sands. All right, Aussie Liquid Gold. Can it stand up to Golden Sands? I'll say Golden Sands is probably more popular, but I think that Aussie Liquid Gold is more than worthy a contender. So already it's looking a little lighter than Golden Sands, but is it actually liquid gold? Boom. We didn't get the crazy random splotch because I didn't properly kind of, uh, you know, when you when you do a glass pen, you're supposed to kind of like dab it here on the side. I did not do that. So that's why I have this big, crazy, disgusting D. But that's fine. It's, it's, we're, we're having a party here. All right. So right now, this one is looking more gold. This one is looking a little bit more very gold, right? That's a thing. So it really is going to depend on what you want, but we're already, we're definitely seeing that as Diamond Golden Sands is drying, we're getting a bit of a dark halo effect, which I really like. It makes the gold stand out a little bit more by giving it a bit of an outline. I don't know. Am I making this up? Sure, probably. But we do see a little bit of settling here on liquid gold as well, but it doesn't seem to be contrasting as much as this one does. But whatever, you're not writing with the big splotches. The writing itself is what we should be paying attention to because this is actually what's going to be on the paper if you're using this in a fountain pen. And they look really, really similar. I'm going to let these dry for a minute or two and then we'll reassess and decide a champ. Okay, as you can see, both of these are very, very similar and both of them are worthy of the title of best gold on gold shimmer ink. But we can only pick one and it's going to be Diamond Golden Sands just because it has a bit more going for it. I think that it could increase its legibility, but really you could sub either one of these just depending on your personal favorite or brand loyalty. But officially Golden Sands gets the nod and uh, yeah, Golden Sands. Hey, thanks for joining me today. 
on this magical journey through the Shimmerlands. Have fun and ride on.